right. I will. Um, the process is on its way. Um, all right. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, good day. Good day, everyone. Good day, uh, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Samsudin Ilham and Ahmed in Java Island. Nice to see you, Ahmed. Today, uh, we are going to have a, a little discussion with Ilham about the yeah. <laughs> with a perception or motivation from a student um, about pursuing dream after graduation. But before that, I'd like to introduce about Ilham. Samsudin Ilham is one of my students at Stekip Pegeri Sumatera Barat. And he has graduated in 2000, was it in 2018? Uh, 20. Oh, 2020. Congratulations. Then. Okay. Ilham, would you mind telling us a little bit about you, um, uh, what, uh, what you have uh, done, your achievements, anything? Uh, yeah. It's better for me to introduce myself first, sir. Sure. Well, my... My full name is Samsudin Ilham. I was mm -hmm. born in Padang City and I'm 6, 1996. Uh, I postponed my college about two years because I, I have got, it's something like a must. I have to get a job before I go to college. And uh, this, uh, I'm going to start from my education from my elementary school or just start from the college, sir? Uh if you want to tell about uh, your yeah. school, that's fine. Um, it's okay. Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm proud that I was born in a uh, sederhana family that's okay. not rich, but not, mm -hmm. and not, not, not poor. But I'm proud mm -hmm. with that. Uh, I, okay, we just start from the college. Okay? After I graduated from senior high school. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, actually, I plan for just joined with the university after I got graduations from my senior high school, but something happened. It's kind of choice uh, okay. to it. It said to say that I have to choose that I gotta continue my study or my sister gonna postpone to have a study. So uh, it means that uh, I have to choose that I'm gonna stay to be free and let my sister finish her school first in okay. vocational high school. I see. So you let yourself being uh, late to school in order to allow yeah. your sister first. Oh, that's that's yeah, uh, that's horrific. That's good. <laughs> that's so sad. Actually, I cried a lot at the time. Every single night, I cry. That's so uh, pity. Mm -hmm. And I joined with the <clears throat> STKI Pepegeri Sumatera Barat at 2016. Mm -hmm. After I tried so hard to join with the government university, UNAN, UNP, and some things like that. But unfortunately, this, uh, you can say that unfortunately, I, I don't join them. Or fortunately, for a second that I'm going to join them. But I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just feel that I'm lucky to join with uh, a second because I met you with the best person ever. <laughs> okay. Wow. So, uh, so far, when you studied in Estekip, of course, you had expectation or you had a little bit of uh, achievements that you have done. What, what was the best memorable achievement that you had done as a student in Estekip? Uh, the, best, the best one is uh, when, I, when I'm chosen to be one of the transfer students for going to Malaysia. Mm. It was good, actually. Mm -hmm. I joined with the uh, yeah transfer students who are going to Malaysia in one semester. It's really great actually. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, a lot of achievement I got from STKIP and I proud being one of the students from STKIP. That's really mm, pushed me up for increasing my English ability, my yes. personality, my everything is really good actually. Of course, that was one of the great experience and moments, right? When you studied in college. Now, my question was in your perspectives, when you were a student at Stekip uh, Pegasus Matra Barat and you have done 
many things. Um, yeah. Maybe you can share with your friends or your juniors that it was really from your inner drive or your personal motivation or was it because of you were forced to do it by your campus? <laughs> Which oh. one? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, actually both are correct. Uh, okay. Maybe a half and a half. Mm -hmm. uh, I forced myself and also mm -hmm. my family also forced me. I mean, they're not they're not forced me like uh, indirect indirect way, but mm -hmm. they forced me in indirect way. Uh, like uh, you know that like uh, we are living in Minang Minang country. You know Minang mm -hmm. Minang tradition that a lot of judgment. Uh, oh, I see. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. They might say that uh, ah, lu nggak bakal bisa. Yeah. Uh, Seems like that. Oh, uh, if you uh, if we can call that in English as under judgment, under yeah, judgment. and under and under value, under judgment, under value, and well. under value. Yeah, yeah. I I got a lot like um some things like uh really press me away from my goodness, mm. but I'm not. Surrender. I'm not surrender. I'm not gonna giving out with this shit. <laughs> I go away. Okay. I just so, uh -huh. go on. <laughs> I just uh I just think that I'm not gonna stop because of this problem because uh mm -hmm. talk about financial from the family. Mm -hmm. I was born in not really good in financial, but I'm not gonna surrender because of that things because. I'm gonna prove to anybody, I'm gonna prove to the people, the people that have more than my financial or mm -hmm. decrease or lower my financial. Uh because money is not gonna limit you. Yeah, sure. Maybe, I agree. I agree. Yeah, yeah may, maybe 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 money can support you for going to somewhere or getting more than the people it's not really rich, but it's not gonna limit limit you actually. Uh, I am as a pro actually. Uh, mm -hmm. Talk about something that's mm -hmm. going abroad. Uh, I wa I was in Taiwan. I was in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. I'm not paid at all. The college <laughs> paid for me. Uh, they, okay. The college paid for me because I I can't handle that. Mm -hmm. I show to anybody that it's not because about only money. Okay, this mm -hmm. is about how can you support yourself? How can you make your English ability increase? Mm -hmm. uh, being a good one in English is not uh, really hard, actually. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I don't know how the people think about English. Okay. Well, one thing for sure is that English is not a language of Indonesian, right? English is an international yeah. language and a foreign language in yeah. Indonesia. So, if you, Ilham, can speak English, that's one of the greatest things that you can be proud of, right? Uh, although, yeah. well, I have seen many students up there, they were born from rich family, they have uh, rich parents, but there is no guarantee uh -huh. that they can speak English well. And you have uh, that. <laughs> you have yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that, that's the point. Yeah, I, I also have a friend that more than my financial amount mm -hmm. in my classroom but mm -hmm. uh, i'm not charging them i'm not charging mm -hmm. them but i think that's my yeah we can value our we can value we can measure it, our english ability in my mm -hmm. our class right but i yes. think that my, my english is more than him but why you have more financial than me maybe you can oh. maybe you, you would be better than me but why why not <laughs> why not there is a question right yeah that's so, true mm -hmm. Yeah. And and one thing for sure, I'd like to say that even though you are supported by your parents or your family with a lot of money, but in terms of studying, we need that inner drive. You know, inner drive like engine in yourself that you have that fire yeah. in, in within yourself that you want to get this one. You want to have a better wow. future. I want to be something. Okay, now we're going to talk about the future, okay, right now. We move to the next topic. Okay, um, All right. uh, the question is, um, what is your dream after you graduate? Now you are already Sarjana Pendidikan Bahasa Inggris. Of course, you want to achieve something in your future. What would that be? Well, uh, <laughs> this is so sad to be discussed. Actually, I have uh, some, <laughs> some dreams that 
maybe uh-huh. I can reach it, but I need some time to to prepare it. Mm-hmm. Uh, sure. After I graduate from after I graduate from my uh bachelor degree, I plan for going to master degree. But unfortunately, there is some problem that I cannot see. Oh. I cannot figure it out. Okay, uh, I see. I, I see. Have tried, yeah, I have tried. Uh, it's uh as I as I thought before. This is not the the, the thing that's gonna limit me, but I need the time to prepare it first. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I I already got. Uh, <laughs> I plan that I'm gonna join with the master degree, especially in abroad. Maybe in your oh, in your in the US college when you were in, <laughs> yeah in the US. Sure, why not? Awesome. But why not? The, but, I I believe that the door is still open for every Indonesian student who would like to study there. Let me I share you with so. with that kind of dream. Um, I also had that kind of dream when I finished my study. I would love to travel abroad to see people, different races, different languages. This this is this is amazing, right? This is wonderful to see different colors of people, different races, and I think I really support your dream for that. You have English ability, you have potential, you have uh, experience in organ- organization. It's just a matter of time, yeah. you know? um, that's a That's a great, but you have to start within yourself. Now, my question is that... Um, the Bluetooth device is really too pale. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. the speaker. That's fine. <laughs> that's, the, that's the example of English, right? The Bluetooth. All right. Now, my qu- next question to you is, what do you think about uh, English-speaking countries? You have heard the issue of um, Asian American, uh, Black, and all those things, races, and you know the stupid, the stupid uh, social stuff. Will that stop you to go overseas to study? No. Mm-hmm. Uh, no one can stop me from going abroad. Because <laughs> okay. I already I already saw many experiences, especially from you and also some friends that stay in Japan. My friend, Japan, Australia, I mm-hmm. also got friends from Europe. Mm-hmm. And they say that, uh, I, don't, I don't really know about it, but maybe I'm going to ask you about this. Uh, is that bullying is uh, exist right there? Uh, bullying? Well, yeah. If you if you ask me personally, then bullying can happen almost everywhere, not just overseas, but also in in Padang it exists. <laughs> so you yeah, cannot... yeah. But <laughs> uh, I'm not judging. I'm asking right now. But I, uh, as my knowledge, as my thought, that before I'm asking for some person, some people. I'm sorry, some people from abroad, from Western, they may mm-hmm. say that bullying is one of the traditions from their country. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna stop. It's like a, uh, what do we call it? Mm-hmm. Turun temurun. Uh, I don't oh. know how English it is. Oh, it's yeah. It, the, you're saying that bullying exists from one generation to the next generation. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Well, actually. Bullying exists in a different way from one generation to the next. Before, in 1990s, the bullying exists physically or verbally, but now, today, bullying exists in the form of cyberbullying. Have you, have you ever heard about oh. that? Yeah, cyberbullying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, when, when, when you don't have a white skin or you're fat and you're short, you're anything that's not standard, then you get bullied. That's one one is the bad thing so i think that's a good idea if you want to go overseas to see and explore many different things beyond padang city right yeah <laughs> and yeah if, i plan it mm-hmm. um if you have an ability to fulfill your dream what would that be well i have a dream to make some school i don't know it's called gonna school or why some not course for, it's good uh, yeah, I think it's really great, actually. Mm-hmm. I, I told you that I'm going to join with the master mm-hmm. degree first, and after I go back, probably I'm going to make some some mm-hmm. course that's special from children's. I love to teach children's. Oh, uh, that's sweet. Yeah, uh, that's the fun. children's. If, if we teach the children's about English for the basic, basic one, 
mm-hmm. they will remember us till the end of their life and also it's gonna be called uh ilmu yang bermanfaat like a uh, jariah right okay okay uh, we, said, uh... we, we got we got two things we got money and we got pahala <laughs> okay <laughs> oh, put pahala first and then put money in the second one Because yeah you, okay pahala first <laughs> Uh, money why, second. If you put money the first, you will be dissatisfied if the money is not that much. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> all right. Now the next one is about pursuing the dreams uh, after graduation. Of course, before you pursue that dream, you will have that kind of process, uh, trial and error. Now. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. What may, do you? May I share some? Yes. Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, sure, sorry. sure, sure. Go on, go on. Uh, no, no, no. You may go on first with the questions. Okay. Uh, you have the trial and error situation when you face problems that hit you. What would you yeah. want to say to your junior or to your friends through the Zoom meetings about how to deal with situation that makes you uh, feel like to be somebody else? Well, uh, talk about, uh, this is my little bit story. <laughs> yeah. How my English become like this. Mm, mm-hmm. It is really, it's kind of long story, actually. Yeah. I start yeah. to learn English from third semester. It's not the first semester, not second, but third semester. Okay, sure. So when when I was in senior high school, I feel a little bit hate about English, especially English. Mm-hmm. I will not really hate about it. <laughs> But I don't like it because why? Why I have to learn about English? This this is not my language. But I try it. I try it. So I join as a kid, and I challenge myself to learn English. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it was started uh, from well, you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it started from me. And the third semester after I got, uh, maybe it's one of the achievement that I passed in PKM. Mm-hmm. Uh, pekan ker- yeah, ker- PKM ker- as a pengabdian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the lecturer is Mrs. Carl, so uh, she support me to talk in English, and especially we are in Pengabdian, that mm-hmm. I have to invite some foreigners for coming to the place, mm-hmm. and that's really relate that if I find this, if I find the foreigners, if if I find the stranger, it's gonna increase my English ability, right? Sure. So it's kind of like relate, relate, related relations, but mm-hmm. unfortunately. Unfortunately, the people around you is not support you at all because uh, we live in Minang. Okay. Because we live in Minang, a lot uh-huh. of people say that. Uh, I'm sorry to say this, like uh, ang so so mah, no salah so so mah English mah French. Yeah, something like really, really push uh-huh. you down, really okay. hit hit you at the corner and a lot. Of, but I'm not. I don't really care about it. I mm-hmm. just go on. Mm-hmm. Uh, but. I ever stuck in one time and I don't want to talk in English anymore. It's okay. one of them. Maybe that's my bad or that's my my point of view really short and mm-hmm. not really big. Uh, mm-hmm. She is one of my senior in our mm-hmm. college. Okay. And she judged me mm-hmm. in direct way. Okay, she doesn't good. speak. But the, she doesn't speak, but the way she, she look at me is like a press me down, uh-huh. hit me at the corner and Wow, this is that's call it under cement under pressure. I'm, I I was <laughs> just feeling like this is my English so bad. I'm it start from that that I, I don't talk in English anymore. Maybe it's about one month. Mm-hmm. Um, I become impassive in English. I don't talk. I'm not active in the classrooms. I'm feeling bad. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling blue, and everything just become my head. It's like gonna <laughs> explode. <it. laughs> But I found a way for going up. Uh, mm-hmm. Someone woke me out from the darkness. Uh, mm-hmm. She is my senior. Yeah, you know it. I yeah, think I, you know it. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, you know it also. Huh? Uh-huh. Uh, the, some of the lecturers support me to just try to speak. Just try to speak. It's fine. Uh, yeah. After the darkness, I someone woke me out and support me. Give me some motivations about English. How important English I mm-hmm. reach the time that I'm not gonna look around me. That's gonna push me away. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, now here you are. Keep going. Now here you are. Yeah. Now here. In English. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, so for, from your experience, I would like to say that it was started really from you, from yourself. And then you try to build up that self-confidence and you would like to say and show the world that, okay, now this is me. I can use English. I can speak this language. Um, one thing that I'd like to say as well is that don't be afraid to make any mistake because we only use language. From that mistake, we learn something, right? As when I was in your age, my English wasn't like this. I was quite shy to speak. <laughs> for that's that's the reality. Yeah. Well, if you know my face, that I'm, shy. I I wasn't shame, really not confident. Not confident. I felt a little bit awkward with myself. Okay, what am I supposed to do? But then the minute you have that friend or your companion and your lecturers or teachers who support you, that's one of the good things that you need to keep keep moving forward. Okay, now about yeah, the, the, the topic of um, achievement that you had been selected, is it to be the one of the best student in graduation for Muncha Academic? Was it true? Yeah, it's okay, true. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, can you can you share with us about your experience, how to manage your time between your studies, your assignment, your disappointment with friends when to do group presentation, maybe, or uh, all right. Okay, you can you can share. Uh, well, I have some. Maybe it's called some tips that really it is based on my experience it's some mm -hmm. tips that are gonna increase our English ability the first one is you're gonna you have to change your mind mm -hmm. this is the first thing change mm -hmm. your mind if it's not changing at all you're not gonna move on you're not gonna keep growing keep forward you're gonna start maybe you're gonna step back mm -hmm. sure change your mind that realize that how important it is in our our age right now mm -hmm. uh, true. But, when we when we when we are in Japan, do we talk in Japan? No. <laughs> oh. no we talk in no. English. No. Yeah. We when we English. were in, yeah, we we are in Europe. We talk in English wherever we mm -hmm. go. Probably we are talking English because it's called that. How important English is in our life, right, sir? Mm -hmm. And uh, the second tips is baby. This is my experience also. Also, my friends in my classroom when I was in. Uh, students, mm -hmm. uh, they're really scary to talk because they are get or maybe they get wrong under, understanding about grammar. Mm -hmm. uh, they are really think about grammar. Grammar is really important when we are talking. I agree with that. I really mm -hmm. agree. But some sometimes it's not counted at all because <laughs> the basic of spoken language is understanding well when the people understand what you're talking about yeah why you are not just continue it because mm -hmm. grammar is not uh i grammar is important but uh when you are start to think about how hard grammar and you are deliver what your mind is it's mm -hmm. not gonna it's gonna it's not gonna be success i guess mm, sure that's right. So how to overcome that kind of speaking anxiety in English, right? When you think that you are not native and you want to speak, you are being afraid to be judged about your grammar, your syntax, um, and your accent, yeah, Pronun pronunciation, I would say. If you, go up, if, if you go abroad, you will see that many people who speak English with world English accents, for example, Malaysian English, Chinese English, Indian English. Yeah, um, I, I already hear that Chinese <laughs> English. I already hear that Chinese English, Malaysian English, mm -hmm. uh, Indian English, and Thailand English. Okay. We, we're supposed to be proud that we are, we are, mm -hmm. we were born in Indonesia that have a good tongue that yes. can, that be able to learn a lot of language. Uh -huh. That's our ability, but no, but not all of the people realize that. Okay. Oh, there. Uh, Uti, is, uh, Uti Hi, jo Uti. is joining us. Hi, Uti. Hello, Mister. I'm sorry uh, to late. Sorry, come late. That's fine. That's all right. How are you? Yeah. I'm very well, thank you. And how about you both? Alhamdulillah. 
I'm good. We, we were just talking about <laughs> Ilham's uh, experience of coming to English. Um, he mentioned that it is important to speak English well. And right now we just talk about how many types of world Englishes like in Japan English, Singapore English, Chinese English, all of that. Um, Ilham, so before we come to Uti, uh, one, one question to Ilham. Um, as a student, what would you say to your juniors about communicating in English? Uh, what, what is the most important thing that we need to keep when you communicate in English? I don't, uh, this is still the same opinion like uh, before. Uh, I have faced many people in our in our mm-hmm. college. I have faced also. It's not only about my juniors. So some some seniors that not really mm-hmm. be able to deliver what their idea in English. I don't mm-hmm. know. They most of the people think that they are scary to get wrong. Mm-hmm. Why? What's wrong? What's if we pronounce it wrong? If we speak wrong? Mm-hmm. If, if we died. No, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, no, no. Why? What do they, they, the people just, uh, okay. The people just need to realize that we are not native of English. So it's fine to be wrong. It's fine to be wrong. It's fine to be bad. It's fine to, it's fine to be, to be false. Because mm-hmm. it's not our native. It's mm-hmm. our native. Mm-hmm. Our language is Bahasa Indonesia. Yeah, <laughs> Duta Bahasa. Uti Duta Bahasa, ya, Mister? Okay. Um, ya, yeah, itu tambahan. Oke. All right, uh, seperti pesan uh, yang disampaikan Uti, kita harus bangga berbahasa Indonesia yang baik dan benar, tapi tidak mm-hmm. menutup kemungkinan kita bisa belajar bahasa Inggris agar tradisi agar apa? Uh, tradisi ya, Ti. Apa? Uh-huh. Agar bahasa Indonesia tidak luntur ya kan? Karena yeah. bahasa Indonesia merupakan identitas kita sebagai bangsa Indonesia. Nah, itu dia, Mister. Yeah, that's, that's kalau right. kita bisa, ya, yeah, when we can talk in English, jadi kita bisa mempromosikan kalau Indonesia itu wow gitu, keluar negeri kemana <laughs> kan. Jadi All ada right. relate relate-nya, ada untungnya. Okay, all right. Now um, the next session will be with Kuti because um, we we need to cut this uh, each 40 minutes and 40 minutes. So the next session will be with Kuti. Um, still with Ilham, um, when you say that when you speak in English, you need to focus on uh, clarity or don't be afraid to be wrong. What if yeah. people misunderstand us when you when we speak? Uh, uh, excuse me, sir. Sorry, pardon me. What should we do when people misunderstand us when we speak? We speak in English, ah. but people misunderstand us. They don't understand yeah. what we're saying, for example. Uh, we explain more, or mm-hmm. when we are trying to explain by English, they also not really understand it. They explain in Bahasa, but, you know, uh, I, I don't know how the people in, but I always get bad experience when I try to explain by by, by English. Maybe they, they think that I'm arrogant person. Ah, uh, okay. Just because I, uh, yeah, yeah. Just because mm-hmm. I explain by English, but they think mm-hmm. that I'm arrogant person. Yeah, okay. kalau lu bisa ngejelas pakai bahasa Indonesia, kenapa harus pakai bahasa Inggris? Kan, u, kan, kan aku belajar gitu loh. Oh. Kalau kamu nggak ngerti, udah aku jelasin lagi pakai bahasa Indonesia. Cuman, karena <laughs> just because the mindset is not the same as me, jadi seolah-olah uh, aku tuh orang sombong gitu jelasin pakai mm. bahasa Inggris. Padahal enggak, kan kita sama-sama mm. belajar gitu. Mm-hmm. Dia kan belajar, kenapa? Ya, uh, yeah. I just keep keep smile, be humble. It's not angry, it's not mad. Explain slowly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not it's not easy to hold my my anger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe maybe it's just about the context and the situation, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that that's okay. I also experience the same thing when I speak English. Uh, people say, oh yeah, kan lulusan ini luar negeri. Well, I don't know. Uh, How do I have to solve yeah. that? Um, it, the, 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 the thing is like this. We cannot, 
we cannot uh, avoid the need of being able to speak a foreign language. Many Indonesian, American right now, for example, or Australian, even Japan and Korean, they would love to learn Bahasa Indonesia. So imagine they can speak our language, but we cannot speak their language. What would happen? Right? So English is, is the key to, to the global state where every country is used this language as an international language. Um, well, I hope that one day you have you could uh, reach the dream to pursue Amen. overseas. Um, Amen. The, the, the closest place for you to go is, uh, I think from Indonesian standard is Singapore. Um, in terms of accent, my Malaysian is still with us, Malay. Um, but if you study for other fields, for example, education, technology, culture, you can go to Malaysia. But for focusing on English, I suppose that I need to encourage you to go to uh, the UK, Australia, or the United States, or Canada. Uh, those four, UK. yeah, UK, yeah, UK is good. Oh, yeah. I would, I would love to go to the UK and meet Queen Elizabeth, <laughs> and say, <laughs> yes, uh, she's one of my oh. faves. She she looks like a grandmother to me. <laughs> okay, all right. So we need we need we we have uh, to uh, five minutes left in this first session. After that, I'm going to invite you again for the next session with, especially with Uti, uh, the second yeah. speaker, uh, Ilham. This uh, last five minutes, is there anything you would like to emphasize, Ilham, to your uh, friends and uh, juniors who will watch this conversation? Well, uh, okay, uh, I write a note actually. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe I just uh this is I back okay I back to the the people that hear this voice mm -hmm. that please don't ever shy to talk in English mm -hmm. don't ever shy don't ever ashamed but eh no but uh and also be confident for what you have uh, it's related to my thesis topic about okay. English as international language mm -hmm. uh I okay, I just explain in Bahasa. Jadi, mm -hmm. dalam uh, ini relate ya, Mister. Yeah. Jadi top test topik 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 il itu yang dalam tes itu Inggris sebagai bahasa internasional. Jadi enggak mm -hmm. ada masalahnya ketika kamu ngomong bahasa Inggris dengan bahasa dan logat kamu sendiri. Misalkan mm -hmm. kamu orang Jawa, berarti ngomong bahasa Inggris sama dok, gitu kan? Agak mencok. Yeah. Oke. Okay. Ya, yang enggak yang enggak apa-apa karena konteksnya itu bahasa Inggris itu adalah cuman uh, bahasa Inggris itu cuman under, understanding. Ketika kamu mm bisa berbahasa Inggris dengan yang dengan baik dan orang mengerti nggak apa-apa nggak apa-apa salah pronounce sedikit nggak apa-apa logat kamu pakai logat Minang atau logat Jawa logat segala macam ya go on aja karena konteksnya itu cuma understanding mm -hmm. coba uh, contohnya waktu, waktu ngomong sama bule bule kan nggak pernah kayak berkomentar uh, what what accent do you use nggak ada nggak ada bule bilang mm -hmm. aksen mana sih yang kamu pakai nggak ada kita mm -hmm. coba berkiblat sama orang India Bahasa Inggris orang India kalau kita dan orang awam dengar pasti uh, like uh, what, what are you doing? I'm not doing nothing. Uh, nothing, nothing. Like that, you know, right? you know, lah, you yeah. know. Yeah, the people, the, the people from India talk the English by the way they are. Kayak mm -hmm. itu itu identity mereka. Kenapa harus mereka? Kenapa mereka malu? Enggak, enggak ada kata malu. Cuman kenapa most of the people from Indonesia feeling like kenapa harus berbahasa Inggris seperti native? Enggak harus gitu. Jadi nggak hmm. pakai bahasa Indonesia dengan logat pakai bahasa Inggris dengan logat bahasa Indonesia ya nggak masalah ya goan aja. Hmm, sure, sure. Kan? Mm -hmm. Ya, jadi confident aja nggak usah malu nggak usah takut salah karena kita tuh bukan orang asli dari berbahasa itu sendiri gitu loh. Kita mm -hmm. tuh orang Indonesia yang belajar bahasa Inggris. Jadi kenapa nggak? pakai bahasa kita aja kalau bisa ke seperti orang ya udah pakai tapi kalau enggak ya udah jadi diri sendiri aja no no need to feeling shame no need to feeling not confident okay we just we are indonesian we proud to be indonesian person right mm -hmm. sure sure all right so <clears throat> that's that's the point so il i will cut this uh, conversation for first session and we're going to have the next uh, second session. Uh, I'm going to send you the invitation again. Um, <clears throat> all right, so that's for our first conversation. Stay tuned. 
and I will send it back to you guys. And please keep joining with me. I will upload this to YouTube in my uh, YouTube channel so that everyone can watch and keep joining with Uti and Ilham. Okay, the next session will be with Uti. So stay with me. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.